in the previous two videos uh, for CD sizing calculation, I have discussed about the protection CD sizing and metering CD sizing calculation. In this video, I will discuss about the differential CD differential CD sizing calculation. Again, this is for the 13.8 kb incoming feeder. Uh, this is for generator protection actually in this project we have this configuration so uh, differential protection is there so we need to calculate the differential uh, CD sizing here in this uh, case uh, the fault current this fault level is 40 kilo ampere so the fault current is 40,000 ampere and we have selected the CT ratio for the differential uh, protection we have selected 1000 by 1 ampere CT so secondary side is 1 ampere and uh, uh, before starting uh, let's share one important thing that uh, for differential CT we need to uh, we need to select PS class PS class CT suppose for protection CT we have considered uh, 5p20 or 5p10 maybe but uh, for this differential protection purpose this is a special purpose CT uh, which requires PS class CT okay now let's uh, start uh, for the lead resistance calculation first of all so this is secondary side is 1 ampere so we can calculate we can, we can express the burden in uh, ohm so here are relay 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 resistance it is calculated it is calculated here this is a 0.2 ohms so this is the this is simply the uh, relay resistance we need to sum up at the end now coming to the new point voltage so new point voltage formula is given uh, by this twice twice into if if means this is the fault current if which is 40 kilo ampere in this case into 1 by CT ratio 1 by CT ratio uh, which is 1000 by 1 ampere multiplied by RCT plus RI plus R relay RCT is the uh, CT, uh, CT, uh, that, uh, um, CT resistance uh, plus RI that is a lead resistance plus R relay resistance so uh, we need to calculate the new point voltage because uh, beyond this uh, new point voltage you know the uh, protection CT will get saturated so to avoid the CT saturation we need to specify the uh, new point voltage of this PS class differential uh, uh, current transformer so again we will consider the 2.5 uh, square mm copper cable 2.5 square mm copper conductor between the CT and this PS class um, uh, CT and the relay and the resistance of this 2.5 square mm uh, copper conductor at 20 degree centigrade this is 7.41 ohms per kimi as I discussed in the earlier videos also this you can get from any manufacturer uh, catalog cable catalog so the alpha value of alpha temperature coefficient at 20 degree centigrade for copper conductor this is 0 0.00393 per degree centigrade and the final temperature for this copper conductor which is 70 degree centigrade so the cable resistance at 70 degree centigrade we need to calculate so this is the formula 1 plus alpha into t2 minus t1 so 1 plus alpha means this temperature coefficient which is 0 0.00393 into T2 means 70 degree centigrade minus uh, T1 20 20 degree centigrade into this uh, um, into this uh, D99 means 7.41 so uh, this is coming 8.87 ohms per kimi so this is the cable resistance at 70 degree centigrade and we have considered the length as 100 meters uh, in the previous examples for protection city or the uh, metering city we considered only 10, 10 meters because that was nearby uh, you know at the same location but here the length is considered 100 meters because this is protection uh, city so uh, 
because uh, this is the differential protection city so differential protection means uh, we need to uh, we need to consider uh, two numbers uh, you know um, uh, city differential city one is uh, one is the upstream and one is and another is in the downstream so the uh, two different locations so this length will be higher as compared to other protection or metering city so here we have considered 100 meters now the cable uh, cable lead resistance it is coming twice because go and return twice into this so 8.87 uh, this is the cable resistance and for 100 meters it is coming 1.774 ohms so the loop burden is coming the same 1.774 uh, VA because uh, the city uh, ratio is the city secondary is 1 ampere so ohm and VA are same here okay so and the um, city resistance uh, city resistance uh, this is uh, 6 so this will this will be provided uh, by the city manufacturer you can get this uh, city resistance value so the new point voltage UAL this new uh, this new point voltage uh, that will be twice into IFL you can um, if you can recall the formula here twice IFL IFL means uh, the twice into IF so this is the fall current so this is coming twice so uh, twice IF that means 2 into 40 kilo ampere so 80 and, and uh, this uh, 6 this is the CT resistance which is 6 plus plus this one plus, uh, means this loop burden 1.774 plus this relay burden which is 0.2 so after calculation we are getting this value new point voltage required new point uh, voltage is 637.92 volts 637.92 volts we need to specify uh, during the CT uh, procurement so so what are the CT parameters here this VK, VK this uh, new point voltage this is 637.92 volt you need to specify uh, the new point voltage also the uh, also the uh, city ratio which is 1000 by 1 ampere so uh, this is for protection uh, this is for differential protection city so new point voltage uh, you must have to uh, you must have to mention for the uh, city purchasing for the procurement activity so this is the differential city selection how you can uh, do if the city resistance is more accordingly this new point voltage uh, that will be also changed so this is differential city selection